You know, something else I want to go over is what we call the I-70 realignment. Anybody heard anything about that? Yes. All right. Let me see if I can. Are you a pretty good draftsman? Are you an mm -hmm. artist? Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, well, right now we've got I-70. We've got two seven. Quebec is over here. 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 Anyway, we don't have to worry about Quebec. Quebec is east of the Right, okay. So we don't have to worry about Quebec. So here's the existing I 7. Let's say that uh, about here is Brighton Boulevard. What they are proposing, this is Hummer City. What they're proposing is to eliminate this part of I-70, turn this into a parkway, which would be 44th Avenue, and move I-470 like up here is Vasquez. They want to talk, cut it off about right here and take it over here. <coughs> Who is they, Jim? Sorry? Who is they? Colorado Department of Transportation. Colorado, okay, thank you. And what we're dealing with right now is what, <coughs> what they call a draft uh, environmental impact statement, where they claim to have done the necessary research to justify what they're proposing. Um, and I guess they, they still have this proposal here to do it along the uh, existing route and add lanes to it, maybe make the two inside lanes uh, HOV lanes and have the outside four lanes uh, regular lanes. That's one proposal. They've left that on the table. But the other one that continues to rear its head is this one up here. Comes right through our community. I think it would have a really bad effect yes. on north-south uh, uh, movement, you know, and cutting off streets, things like that. And there, the funny thing is, they claim that they did uh, a study, what did they say, three miles on each side? One mile on either side. One mile on either side. Route. But their study for the draft environmental impact statement stopped about right here. That's where their study stopped. So they haven't done three miles on each side. They've only done three miles on each side of this one to try to show what the environmental impact was, which is the Denver portion of the one. I've got to tell you, we've got a good attorney and we've got an excellent city staff that's got this situation uh, handled. I don't know what's going to happen, but believe me, we've raised some issues as far as CDOT's compliance with uh, the National Environmental Protection Laws about what they have to do to put in a draft environmental impact statement. And I hope that it's going to have some impact because this letter that's going out on March 31st, which you'll be able to read, it'll be a public document. Uh, it's pretty scathing, I think shows them how blatantly they have violated the law and the, the procedure that they're required to go to to come up with a proposal that they make to the EPA. But in, and in addition, it would cost an additional $500 million that we could well use to do things like Highway 2. And tower. Do, do some tower, do some things to 270 to prevent the two lanes on each side of 270 from stacking up four or five times a day if any of you have ever been out there during any kind of a rush hour. And that's just the you know what I mean. That's a real stacked up place out there on 270. It's not the fastest way to go. Um, also, um, I guess anybody have any more questions about this? I so, so would community support as far as we're rallying to say we don't want this? Would that be helpful? Uh, well, you know, we had a meeting down at the rec center in, in uh, the core part of the city. And, but they uh, need to listen to 